field. Down into the corner again. And Attendee near the wall. Leafs. He's hung up. Did he catch it? Oh, you got to be kidding me. He took one back. A spectacular play by the rookie. Hung up by the hips on the wall, and he brings it back down the left field line. What a sensational play. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Breaking ball, Yelich, center field deep. Back goes Dyson at the wall, and he got it! What a catch! Gerard Dyson! My goodness! Up! On it! And he held it! Amazing! Afternoon baseball on the show as we welcome you inside AT&T Park in San Francisco. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the New York Mets and the San Francisco Giants. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Jeff Samarja gets the ball in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, HR? As I look at this ball game today, one thing to keep an eye on is his at bats against the right handers, his approach against right hand hitters, because right handed hitters are hitting under 250 against him. And those are the guys that he's going to have to exploit if he wants to win this ball game. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Our temperature 74 degrees as we get things started this afternoon. Served out to left off the end of the bat. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So, with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. A little soft exactly. liner right there dropping Short in stop. the outfield. He didn't and hit it hard, football. but sometimes Double those round. little soft singles get rallies started. Into the box now as Dribble Cabrera. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here comes the payoff pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Line down the left field line. But this is going to get foul. A runner at first with no outs here. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Ruggiano is there, one away. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, what do they need to do to complete the sweep? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say, have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Now to the plate, Yoenis Cespedes. He's definitely a long ball threat. Currently third in the National League in that category. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And a good call as they pitch out there, but Reyes isn't going yet. Two and one now to Cespedes. Liner toward right center. 
And this is going to find Triples Alley out here in right center for extra bases. Reyes rounds third and is digging for the plate. The run is in to score, and they take an early 1-0 lead. This is the way you want to start the game on the offensive side of things. Teammate puts himself in the scoring position, and you're able to bring him home with a gapper. That's the kind of thing that gets the whole lineup excited to put up some numbers. Stepping in, Curtis Granderson. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And splash down. It's into McCovey Cove. A two-run home run for Curtis Granderson. Number 17 for him on the season. And the Mets have taken a three-to-nothing lead. Yeah, you never want to give up anything in the first inning, but to go down 3-0, it's just painful. Can't afford any more early mistakes, or the hole's going to be too deep to climb out of. Into the box, Jay Bruce. And he'll quickly send a line drive to center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Stepping in now, Lucas Duda. 2-1 pitch is a slider taken for a cold strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Swing and a hard hit ball down the line in right. That gets down and the inning continues. Obviously this is a pitcher's nightmare but it's a manager's nightmare too. It's only the first seven. inning in your starter has already given a four Rabbit. hits. The last Darn one an absolute frozen rope. The last thing he wants to do is get someone up in the pen but he might not have any other choice. Stepping up to the plate Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. set and the 1 1 pitch. Here's a high pop up. Crawford is there for it. And that's the third out. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two run home run. On to the bottom of the first at AT&T Park. It's 3 nothing New York. Jacob DeGrom gets the ball for the Mets in this one. Harold, any thoughts? Well, Matt, his last outing was curious to me. That's the word I'll use as curious, because if you go five innings, you get that five and bail, right? Well, he went five innings, but then he got the loss. He just wasn't able to go further. I think he's got to give them a little more distance and be able to execute his pitches early on a little bit better in this game. At the plate, Eduardo Nunez. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Swing and a liner. But right to Cabrera, and that's the first out. And here's a look at the hometown Giants starting lineup in this one. Dan Fleszak, who are you focused on? One guy I'm a little worried about is Brendan Crawford. Watching his last game, he went 0 for 4, and it just looks like he's out of sync right now. Maybe this game is the game that gets him going. Here's the center fielder, Denard Spann. Man, he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. The 0-2 delivery. Hit out towards second. Throw gets him two down. 
batting third. Here's the first third baseman, baseman, Brandon Belt. Brandon. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. One and one, here it comes. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Boy, he juked him out of his shoes with that changeup. Stood almost no chance of doing anything with it. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Giants are down one, two, three. They trail it here three to nothing. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Squared that one up just a little late. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone and there's one away. All right time for majestic defensive alignment for the Giants. And a second base Joe Panic. Joe Baseball. This guy's a gym rat. He catches the ball, turns the pivot, but he doesn't make mistakes for it. It seems like he's always in the game, making the right decisions. Stepping into the box, Jacob DeGrom, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Bases are empty, one man out. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. That's probably not what he wants to do with two strikes right there with the fastball. He is fortunate he just fouled it off. This is in the air to left field. Parker is over just a few steps to his right as he takes it for route number two. Number seven, Jose Reyes. So bases are empty here with two gone, and the lineup turns over now for Jose Reyes. Now Reyes awaits the 1 1. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire the side. Mets go down 1 2 3, but they're on top by a count of 3 to nothing. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's gone 3 for 11. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Just got a piece to the right side. And he'll take no chances here as he swipes this ball away. It stays a foul ball. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And I'm looking down there at as Drubal Cabrera. Does he still make the routine play? Yes. But man, when he was young, he can make the highlight reel play with the best of them. So fun to watch. Here's Buster Posey now. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. These Mets, Harold, as they take the field here today, they're on a nice little run. Winners of four of their last five ball games. Yeah, Matt, it's been a pretty good weekend for them. I mean, you win Friday and Saturday, and now you come here ready to win and possibly sweep the series on Sunday here. So, impressive weekend for them. Rivera ranges back, and he has it for route number two. Batting six. Second. Digging in. Joe Pennant. He carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. Bases are empty here with two men out. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. And here's a ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Giants down in order. Still down 3 nothing. Back now in San Francisco with our presentation of Major League Baseball on the show. Thanks for joining us. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. 1 and 1. Here it comes. A fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. 
Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Slow roller back to the mound. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. So one gun in the inning now, and it's time to check out the standings in the National League West as you take a look at where the Giants find themselves entering play here today. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Joanna Cespedes. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Skied into straightaway right. Moving under it, Ruggiano. And that's the second out of the inning. Center fielder number three. Ready to take his hacks again. Curtis Granderson as he'll look to follow up the two run homer he launched over the wall last time up. The pitch. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here. And when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys. And, and when that's the case, they eventually get a pitch that they can do something with. Bounced on the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Backhanded. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets. They lead it three to nothing. So stepping in, Justin Ruggiano. Seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Here's another one, too. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Another strikeout for him on the mound, and boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, uh, no doubt, Matty. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Standing in now, Jarrett Parker. This is flared out towards second. And that's the first hit in this one for the Giants. So that'll go down as an E4 as he certainly had his problems that time at second base. Now in the box, Jeff Samarja. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. And he misses the bunt attempt, so it's a ball and two strikes now. Well, he sure didn't look good right there trying to put that bunt down. I'd be surprised if they give him the bunt sign again. But let's watch and see. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Really good late fight on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just starts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Into the box now, Eduardo Nunez. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Oh, that was a pretty good pitch right there. A little bit late. That's why he wasn't able to catch it right there in his wheelhouse. And a slider swung on and missed, and the side is retired. One left for San Francisco. They trail in this one, 3 nothing. Digging in to try it again, Jay Bruce. He matches up with Jeff Samarja to get the inning underway. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. And the throw on the first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And we've got two guys bringing some serious gas for you, as you see there. Top speeds, 96 and 97. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Yeah. And that one right down Main Street. Oh, Matt, look, it's real simple. If you're going to throw the ball down the middle in the big leagues, 
you're going to get hammered. He's got to put the ball in the corner if he wants to have any chance. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Now batting. Catcher. Here's the catcher, Travis, Travis Darno. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Strike 2 at a pitch that catches the outside corner. 1 and 2, here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. It'll be Denard Spann to lead us off when we return. It's the Mets three and the Giants nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Denard Span, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Hit down the line at first. Duda's got it. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The first baseman, number nine. Brandon. Digging in for his second at bat, Brandon Belt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hey. Slider is in there, and now it's 1 and 2. Here it comes. Oh, the good changeup, a swing and a miss, and he's set down on strikes for the second time today. Well, there's the great equalizer, the changeup, El Cambio. Listen, if you can keep that pitch in your back pocket and pull it out when you need it, like he did right there, usually hitters, they don't stand a chance. Into the box, Brandon Crawford takes a knee-high fastball no runs no hits and no errors on the giant ledger to this point and he struck him out his seventh of the ball game and that ends the inning Giants are down one two three they trail it here three to nothing ready for another chance TJ Rivera comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game One and one, here it comes. Takes this the other way to right, and a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. Well, that's what you want. The guy in front of the pitcher leads off the inning with the hit. Now it's time to play some baseball. Are you going to bunt him over? Are you going to hit and run? Are you going to steal? What are you going to do? It gets fun now. Riding in once again, Jacob DeGrom, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Some action out in the bullpen, couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. He's set, here comes the 1-1. Now a bunt attempt here, and he'll just scoop this away to make sure it stays foul, so we'll see if they keep the bunt on here with two strikes. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And now a two-strike bunt attempt here as this one's down. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now batting, third baseman, Jose Reyes. Coming to the plate now, Jose Reyes. One for two on his line so far in the game. Three runs, five hits, one error in the game for the Mets thus far. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Hit sharply on the ground. Throw gets him, two down. Ready for another shot now as Dribble Cabrera 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And a fastball misses there, ball four. And with the bases empty and three balls, I think they were probably just saying, hey, we're not going to compound our mistakes here. Better 
issue a free pass and give him something to drive. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 1 2. Hit hard on the ground towards second. On the first, and the Mets are going to come up empty here as that ends the inning. The 2010 National League Rookie of the Year, Buster Posey, will start things out after the break. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets three, and the Giants nothing. Here's Buster Posey now. They'll start things out here in the home fifth, and it's been tough sledding for this lineup through the first half of the game. Yeah, they haven't had any momentum going to the plate so far in this one, Matt. They need something to break their way and wake them up a bit. Be yeah. nice to get these fans involved at some point as well. 1-1 one, one pitch is a slider that's cut on and missed for strike two. Hit out towards second. Rivera picks it up. One away. Yeah. The second so base still nothing against him on the scoreboard Show. here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Here's Joe Panic. He's 0 for 1 thus far. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. And this is fouled at the plate. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. Still a little early to start talking about these things. There you go right there. A big goose egg in that hit column. Worth keeping in mind as we get later into the afternoon. In now, Justin Ruggiano. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. And Dan, that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important key to being dominant on the mound, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Ball two. You know what, Matt? He's been getting most of the pitches. I know he's complaining a little bit on this one, but he's been getting most of the pitches today. He, he should be feeling pretty good about himself. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. He's clearly looking to hit off the fastball and adjust. That's a pretty good swing after seeing two fastballs now in a row. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And here's a ball hit in the air. Rivera onto the grass and the inning is over. Curtis Granderson will start things off when we return. It's the Mets three and the Giants nothing. Your Derek Law play. takes over to start now the sixth inning the on the mound. Number 64, Derek Law. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. To right field and way out of here. Look at this thing go. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. A solo home run for Curtis Granderson. His second home run of the game. And the Mets have jumped out to a 4-0 lead. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. Stepping in now, Jay Bruce. And this one misses to Bruce as he moves out in front. It's two and one. Well, I kind of wonder if he's not being as aggressive as he was before that home run. 
hey, this is a guy that could burn you again. So I don't really blame him. And he takes a good swing at that one as this is sent down the line in right, but ultimately into the crowd a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Bruce around the bag, heading for second now. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be Up so far this Mets. year, but you never Very know basement. by that swing. He Lucas. looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. In now, Lucas Duda. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Well, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you what, that was a nice curve. Just really frozen. Good breaking ball. Now a look and a throw back to second. Runners back. From the belt, kicks and deals. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. And a good throw gets him one gone. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Travis Darno. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. One out and a runner on third. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they'll add another as this is now a 5 nothing game. I don't care how hard you're throwing. You get no that batting. ball down there. He just Second dropped the barrel and then he jumped off the bat. Okay. Nice hitting on a tough pitch. Hey, Standing in now. T.J. Rivera as he lifts it in the air to right field. Ruggiano moving to his left and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move now up. Batting. Ready for another Jacob shot now. DeGrom. Jacob DeGrom comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Hard hit ball to short. Crawford's got it. He'll go the short way to panic at second, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On to the bottom of inning number six. It's the Mets five, and the Giants nothing. Striding in once again, Jarrett Parker. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone one and two. I don't know if they're losing it in the stands or whatever but man he's been able to get those guys to chase balls out of the zone like I've never seen before getting a lot of strikeouts on that pitch today made a miss on the off speed pitch that time Jarrett Parker is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Hunter Pence will move into the on deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Giants are still searching for their first hit of the ball game. In there at the letters one and two now. Oh that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top level arm like this and he struck him out so double digits now 10 strikeouts for him thus far that's 10 strikeouts for him now and I'll tell you he could rack up quite a few more before he's done still a lot of game left in this one digging in to try it again Eduardo Nunez it's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. And a liner foul into the seats down the right side. Matt is one pitch away from striking out the side. Now that's a shutdown inning. Your team gets your run. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. Three up, 
three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. On to the back third here this afternoon, and we've got it for you on the show. Back here in San Francisco, getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. George Contos is going to come on in relief as he'll be making his 20th appearance of the season. Ready for another chance. Jose Reyes He's working on a one for three thus far. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Ground ball right side. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. The shortstop the pitcher. Now with the plate, as Google Cabrera he comes in 0 for 2 thus far. One out, nobody on. Now a cutter down around his shoe tops as he hops out of the way. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. There's a shot out to right center field. He takes the turn and heads for second. Now Cabrera rounds second. He's going to try for three. And he's in there at third with a one out triple. This is one park in the league that sees a lot of triples because of the way it's designed. And he adds another one heading to third for the three bagger. Into the box now, Joanna Cespedes. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. On the move is Span. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's a 6 nothing ball game. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some runs scored for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Two out, nobody on. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Granderson waits on the one two. And a good cut here by Granderson but this one's going to find the seats in right a foul ball. Looking for the strikeout here's the one two. Now a swing and a ball chop foul right at home plate. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. Pulled toward right center field. Span on the run. But he's not going to get there, and he's headed for extra bases again. Granderson around second, headed for third. And he is in to third base with a triple. His third hit this afternoon. Wow, you think the they'd right learned their lesson and would pitch around this guy. James That's his third Bruce. extra base hit of the game. This one a triple, and he can seemingly do nothing wrong. Into the box, Jay Bruce. Swing and he pops him up over toward foul territory. Oh no, he can't hold on to it. Count is full, here's the pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Span is under it. No trouble with this one and the inning is over. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. We've reached the seventh inning stretch here in San Francisco. The Mets lead it six to nothing. Here's the center fielder, Denard Spann. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How do they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Fastball called strike. One and two. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Tried to stay back on the change up there, but this is chopped foul at home plate. Here he comes again, one, two. 
And he strikes him out here. So that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Man, he is looking flat out unhittable on the mound the right now. Spot, that's 35. five straight punch outs. Brandon I love it, but I think he Bumper. might want to get his defense involved at some point so they don't fall asleep. Stepping in now, Brandon Crawford. Hey. Two and two. Boy, he's been <laughs> great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Hit to short. Cabrera's up with it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Giants down in order. They still find themselves down six zip. Here's Lucas Duda now. He was a ground out victim last time up. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. One two pitch is a slider that misses two and two. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. He pulls this one into right. Ruggiano is there to put it away for route number one. Now batting. A look here at our Captain. starter comparison. Travis and again, Darnell. I don't want to be called the jinx, but the number to watch is in that hit column on the left side of your screen. A big zero. Digging in and looking for more. Travis Darno. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's one for two. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High pop up. Belt is there for it. Two down. Now batting, second baseman. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Little chopper back to the mound. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And a good effort as he's able to stick with it and get the third out of the inning. Mets go down one, two, three, but they're on top by a count of six to nothing. Here's Buster Posey now. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Heading out towards shallow right. Now a reach, and he takes a tumble here, but hangs on for the first the second out. Second baseman, number 12, Joe Panic. Ready once again, Joe Panic. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Got him. Four outs away from his date with history. Hey, we're getting into the nitty gritty. That's the second out no, of the no. eighth inning, and the Ranger pitcher fielder. needs only four Justin. more outs for a Ruggiano. no hitter. Digging in, Justin Ruggiano. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Here's the one and two delivery. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. And the changeup is way low that time. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he struck him out. So he's now through eight full innings and will take his no-hit bid into the ninth. Giants are down one, two, three. They won't make a dent in a six-to-nothing deficit. And now Boach is going to make his way out toward home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. 
Nino Ramirez is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Jimmy Rollins is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number seven. Now at the plate Jacob deGrom and an opportunity here for a fourth plate appearance here this afternoon and you have to say he's really earned it. He's set here comes the one one looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. And oh strike three called on a fastball that looked inside from here but that's out number one. Now batting. They're digging in once again Jose Reyes. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now Reyes awaits the one one. A high fastball is in there. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Bases are empty, one man out. Fastball, whoa, look out. That just about got him in the coconut. Not sure if that was a purpose pitch or not, but I liked it. As a pitcher, sometimes you've got to be willing to back the guy off the plate by running something hard inside. You can't just let guys be comfortable standing in the batter's box against you. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Rounding first is Cabrera on his way to second now. And he'll coast into second here with a two out double. Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we could say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. In now, Yoannis Cespedes. Here's Cespedes with a drive. That's high and deep to left field. Gone! It's a two run shot here for Yoannis Cespedes. 19th home run for him on the season as they've widened this lead to eight now. Boy, this guy's hot right now. Hit a bomb yesterday and hit another tape measure shot today. When he gets hot, he hits him in bunches. This could be the beginning of one of those extended hot streaks. Curtis Granderson will stride in again. And before he takes his cuts here, we take you back to inning number six. This was his second home run of the ball game as he'll stand in here looking for number three. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Hit hard to the right side. Rollins has it. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But the Mets do strike for two, both coming on this two-run home run. Last chance coming up for the G-Men. It's the Mets eight, and the Giants nothing. Standing in, Jarrett Parker starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Bonnie gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Hit back up the middle. Oh, and the no hitter is erased here in the ninth. So he made it through eight full innings, which is no small feat, let me tell you. But the no hit bid will end right here as he surrenders hit number one here in inning number nine. Doggone, I was hoping we were going to see it that time.
And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. Standing in now, Jimmy Rollins. And he will get there to make the running catch as that ball hung up just a little bit too long. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice now, about trying to move up. Third baseman. And Ready Juan now, Eduardo Nunez. Nunez. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. He's really racked up the strikeouts in this one, and this guy's been victimized three times already today. He and this lineup are clearly having a really tough time picking him up. Now batting, Denard Spann. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And there's a called strike two as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Right there, Matt. You know, they get the leadoff man on and they haven't been able to advance him. That's why they're not scoring runs. You got to hit and run still. Do something to get that runner moving. Get aggressive. And another foul ball. Two out with the man at first. Another one sent foul. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch that tied him up in knots, and the ball game is over. Wow, you could feel the electricity in the air when the ninth inning started. Everyone could feel how close to history we were, but he gives up a hit and loses the no hit bid. Man, that hurts. He's just got to shake it off now and enjoy this one hitter just the same. Great effort either way. Eight nothing the final today. New York wrap up their 20th road win of the season. Jacob deGrom earns his sixth winning decision in this one and mark him down for 17 strikeouts to boot. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. Game. For more, well, make your way on over to theshownation.com. 12 hits with one error. They left five men on base. Fly ball, center field. NCRT on the run. Still going on the way to track at the wall. He got it! NCRT caught it on the wall. And the Braves have beaten the Mets. Incredible catch to save the game. And the Braves have stunned New York tonight. They've stunned a lot of people tonight. Maybe the catch of the year 